I want to take a quick look at this hive because I saw something in it earlier. Um, about half the time when I make these videos, um, I, well, <laughs> about 90% of the time, I don't actually know what I'm going to say until I open up the hive and I'm just kind of giving a um, real life commentary on what I'm seeing in the hive and what to do about it. Uh, about 10% of the time I'll like crack it open real quick and see what's coming before I open it. But um, I cracked this one up real quick and I saw something I wanted to show you guys. It's a good, it's a really good hive. Um, you know, it's full of bees. Um, these are our Texas 5000 bees and uh, they overwintered really, really well. I've got pretty much a box full of honey. This one had uh, was a little high with varroa mites and so we went ahead and did the uh, Apivar treatment. You can see we've got the strips in, in this, two strips in the top box, two strips in the bottom box. March is a really good time to treat for mites. If you've got high mite loads, I highly recommend you check out some of our videos on how to test for mites uh, because March, they're, they don't have a ton of brood in most cases, but they are brooding up and you still got time to get a treatment started and finished before you get anywhere close to the honey flow. So definitely plan on testing for varroa mites and, uh, and getting that treatment done in March. But what this hive had, if you check it out, check it out. this is what uh, a lot of people have questions about. You've got this burr comb um, all on the top bars and you've got this white larva that you've exposed as you've broken open uh, these, this box and this is drone brood and it's super common to see especially especially in the spring that uh, you know the bees are starting to rear drones and a super common place for them to do that is on the top bars between the boxes and when you break the boxes open you expose that that drone brood. So I want to see if I can give you guys a bit of a closer view because this is really a helpful thing to be aware of as a beekeeper. Um, as you are uh, going through your hive, when you see this drone brood, pardon my lack of camera skills, but when you see this drone brood, number one, it's a good sign. It means that your hive is healthy and strong enough to start rearing drones. And then um, secondarily, it means that uh, the bees have just set up a great rough gauge uh, for you to check your varroa mite levels. So when I see this drone brood in a hive, between the frames, I always look at these larvae. You know, you can move them with your hive tool, you can pick them up, you can look at them in your hand, um, and see if you see any varroa mites on them. Now unfortunately, these drone larvae aren't going to survive. Uh, the bees will clean them out once you've opened the box. But I don't want to see varroa, mite, uh, varroa mites on these larvae. Now remember, varroa like drone larvae and drone brood more than worker bee brood. So usually, if they um, usually they'll migrate to this drone brood first, and so it's not a uh, it's not as good as doing a um, sugar test or an alcohol wash. But you know, if I'm looking at these drone, looking at these larvae, and I'm seeing varroa mites all over them, that's a problem. If I'm not seeing any, that's a great sign. So here's one that does have a varroa mite on it. So if you see this little larva right on the tip of it there, let's see if I can get into the camera. Um, that little that little speck, that's a varroa mite. So you'll it's pretty obvious. You'll see it crawling around, and uh, and so again, it's not a it's not a great scientific test, but you know if I'm only seeing if I'm digging through ten or fifteen of these, and I'm only seeing zero or one, maybe two, uh, varroa mites, I'm I'm not that concerned. If I'm seeing like oh wow, every other larva has a varroa mite on it, okay, now I'm a little more concerned. So here's a piece of uh, here's a piece of drone brood, and you can see right here. You know, there's that, uh, see if I can focus in on it a little bit. There's that little speck. So you can see that, that varroa mite right there. On, you can see him crawling around right there on that drone brood. So again, I probably went through 10 or 15 of these little cells and I found two 
Uh, we're already treating this mite, this uh, hive. We already found a bit of a mite issue. Um, so, you know, we're already, we've already got a treatment underway, so I'm not too concerned about it. But, uh, you know, if you see two or three or four varroa mites between the frames, you know, it's a good idea to do uh, an actual realistic test and see if you have a bigger problem or not.